What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another week of workouts. I am so excited to share my entire week of workouts with you guys. I'll let you guys in on the nitty gritty what I do and what I'm gonna work out this week. I do have to work out five days in a row. I usually like to take a break midweek to give my body a little bit of extra time of recovery, but we have family coming in, so I have to do five days straight. If you're new to my channel or haven't seen any of my videos yet, I do a five day training split. I do two leg days and two upper body days and then kind of a full body if I missed something, functional, cardio hit, kind of an extra day to just do what I want, a lot of mobility work and it's not always as intense of a day. So with that being said, let's hop right in to day one. All right, here's today's outfits. We've got the camo shorts and then I'm wearing the new Adapt Flex bra. So cute, I just wore the leggings a couple days ago. Gymshark hat, you know, Converse as always, and then this little crop tee to cover up. And uh, let's get this lift. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another week of workouts. I start every single workout with a warm up. I go more in depth on my warm up a little bit later on in this video and then I also plan to do a separate video dedicated to that, so stay tuned. I'm starting off with squats. Back squats are phenomenal. I love to do one leg day focusing on squats and front squats and then the other leg day focusing on deadlifts and hip thrusts, more of like posterior chain. I'm really working on increasing my strength and building muscle this has been a huge goal of mine you guys have known and I feel like I've put on some pretty good muscle recently which has been really exciting for these squats this week I did three sets I started at 10 then went to eight and then six reps each set I would increase my weight and that's why my reps would decrease because the weight is heavier and it's getting harder for me to lift Next up are landmine squats. This is my first time doing these in a very long time and they actually aren't my favorite exercise. I will be completely honest with you. I would have rather done hack squats than these landmine squats. So if your gym has a hack squat and you're trying this workout, I would just do those instead of these, but it was fun to mix it up a little bit and yeah. Next up are heel elevated front squats. Elevating your heels and doing a front squat, both of those are really gonna help target your quads. Now, you can use a preloaded barbell like I did here. I'm kind of showing an intermediate step. You can also use the full barbell, load up the weight and hit your heavy front squats that way or you can even use dumbbells. When it comes to propping up your feet, you can use weight plates, or if your gym happens to have one of these little incline steps, feel free to use that. I ended this workout with a superset and a superset is doing two exercises back to back without rest. You then take your rest after completing both of those exercises. So I'm going to do 10 box jumps and then move into 10 walking lunges. Box jumps are an extremely effective exercise. This is high impact. It's targeting your quads and these plyometric jumping exercises really push your muscles to the max. They help increase your power, your strength and your speed also help increase your heart rate and get the sweat going great for a burnout i'm then moving right into walking lunges so i'm using the same preloaded barbell that i used for front squats i just kept that over there and i'm going to go ahead and do lunges i did not pick a great place to do these though because i kept having to turn around go back and forth usually i pick a better place i was just not even thinking about it so this is what we've got filmed but these are again another fire exercise to help burn your quads and a great way to end this leg workout Something that I've been doing and I'm filming another YouTube video about is my 30 days to handstand. I've been working on handstands for quite a while, really working on improving these. So I always like to end or start my workouts with some handstand practice just to try and work on improving that skill. Today I'm starting off this back and biceps workout with some bent over rows. I actually did an entire warm up before this. I hit up an incline walk, did some banded stretches, some dynamic exercises, and then I did three sets of pull ups. And now I'm moving into my first exercise, which is bent over rows. Honestly, I love this exercise. I love underhand grip bent over rows. It is a compound movement, so you're working a few different muscles while doing this exercise. It's one of my all-time favorite ways to start a back workout, so I did three sets of eight to 10. 
I wanted to also include an overhand grip row, so we moved to the T-bar. I love T-bar rows as well. So these are two excellent row exercises to include on your back day. I know a lot of people use the neutral grip when it comes to the T-bar to really get that mid back and isolate that. I really was looking for an overhand grip, so that's why I'm doing it this way. You guys, I don't know if something was in my pre-workout today or if I just didn't get enough of a sweat and my heart rate up at the beginning of my workout, which I usually do to help carry that through my workout, but I needed something else. I needed something extra, so I cranked out 150 push-ups during this entire workout. I would do sets of 30, 20, or 10 in between each exercise. I don't know why, I just needed something else and this really was that push that I needed for this workout and it was actually really fun, even though it doesn't look like it. Next up, I moved into close grip pull downs. This is a variation of a lat pull down. There are a bunch of different ones. You can do wide grip, neutral grip, reverse grip, these close ones, they've got outside grip. All of those are really good variations to help target your lats and just give it a little bit of a different variation to help build your back muscles all around. I love to include at least one lat move. I usually like to do two of some sort. And I did end with a drop set and a drop set is basically an extended set of this exercise. So the last set of my workout is a burnout. For example, I just did a set and then I dropped my weight and immediately went into another set until I was fatigued and couldn't really do another rep. Again, I did some push-ups in between those sets and then I moved right into standing lap pull-downs. These burned so well. I haven't done these in such a long time. These are super effective. I am still sore from these and it has been three to four days since doing these. It's ridiculous. After these, I ended up doing a bicep cable curls. I'm really sad I didn't get those filmed. I just totally spaced on that. But I used the same attachment, the straight bar, and I just did some simple bicep cable curls, get a good pump, three sets of 10, it was awesome. To finish off this workout, it's the dreaded abs. I hate working abs, but I know I need to to help strengthen my core. And you know what? You got to put in the hard work even when you don't want to. So instead of five minutes, I only did two. I'm going to be totally honest. I usually do five. I just did two. I put a timer on my phone for two minutes and I just do ab exercises until that is all done. And then I did a little cool down, some stretching, and that was it. <laughs> What's up, you guys? It is a Wednesday. Here's my outfit of the day. This is the new Animal Seamless shorts and bra. I love that these are now high neck. I'm a huge fan of it. And then the shorts too. These are like longer shorts. I love wearing black to the gym. So that's today's outfit and let's get this lift. Okay, so I finally had time to record my warm up. I start on a treadmill, usually on an incline walk. So the incline can be anywhere from seven to 10, and then usually I'm walking at a 3.5 speed. And I usually will do this between two to five minutes to help get my heart rate up, get a little bit of sweat going, and get my body ready for my workout. It's exactly what a warm up is all things to help prep your body for what you're about to do. Sometimes I do like to drop the incline back down and go for a little jog. I always want to be able to be the most athletic as I can, functional, be able to run and not be huffing and puffing. So I think it's really important to be able to cross train and be able to have that ability. So I like to run sometimes on upper body days just to give myself a little bit of that good cardio for heart health, doing it for health reasons, not because I enjoy it. <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or have watched any of my previous YouTube videos, you will see that I always warm up. And this is one of the staples that I have been doing. It's great for mobility, helps with shoulders, just getting my body ready, getting my joints, ligaments, everything ready for my workout. I love doing the dislocations. I love doing the switchbacks. A resistance band is phenomenal for these things. You can also use a PVC pipe if your gym has one of those. And then banded pull-aparts is a staple move for any upper body day. This is an amazing exercise to do to help warm up your back, your shoulders, get your body ready, take care of it, and prep yourself for your workout. Using the same resistance band, I usually look around the gym and find something to tie it to just so I can get some movement in, help work on my mobility, stretch out my chest, my pec muscles, get my shoulder rotators going, and again, warm up for my workout. Arm swings are another great exercise just to help get your body warmed up, blood flowing, getting you ready. 
Goofing off is also part of the fun and helps get your heart rate up. I also love to do push-ups, mountain climbers, body weight exercises to really get my heart rate up and take some time to practice other skills, other things that aren't weights. Like you've already seen in this video, I am practicing handstands and you guys, sometimes I just really suck, but I wanna say that I love practicing them and it does help me warm up. So that's why I like to throw a couple in, even though I suck and this is me telling you, oh, that wasn't that bad, I'm getting better, but I still suck. <laughs> now that I'm warmed up, I've got some tunes going on. I'm in a good place mentally. I'm ready to get into my workout. I'm starting with bench press. I'm doing four sets. I did two sets of 10 and then two sets of six. At the end of my last two sets, I dropped the weight in half and did as many more reps as I could. So I did another drop set. Next up, I did the incline press. I did four sets of 10. I picked a challenging weight where the last two to three reps were really tough to put up, but possible. Incline press works your upper pecs. It works a little bit of your delts and it's honestly a staple for a push day. It's nice to have a flat bench as well as an incline. So you're getting a little bit of a difference in there. And sometimes I'll throw in a decline. You just want to work all parts of the chest. And I know a lot of girls are like, why work chest? It's not like it's giving me any actual physical results, but it helps you be stronger in all aspects of your other lifts. So don't skip chest day just because you can't see actual physical results. It's so important because you're working your triceps, your delts. It is such a good exercise and a lot of them are compounds. Moving into one of my all-time favorite supersets. I love this superset. It is skull crushers, which is targeting your triceps and then right into close grip chest press. Now, you can have your feet on the bench or on the floor. Sometimes I just, you know, don't want to be so exposed in the gym. So I'll put my feet up on the bench like this. And sometimes I want a higher challenge. So I'll actually lift my legs up so that my feet are not on the bench. And that helps work my core because I'm also trying to stabilize myself while doing this exercise. So it's kind of a couple different fun little things you can do with this. But honestly, this is one of my favorite supersets of all time. It's great for your chest, great for your triceps. And this is such a burnout at the end. Oh my gosh, you have to try it. I then wanted to toast my triceps a little bit more, so I'm doing tricep pull downs. You can do this with a straight bar or a curved bar, both are good. It's great to have some pulling movements when it comes to triceps as well as pushing. So I do a pull down and a push down. Both are working your tricep just a little bit different of a variation in that. So I did 10 of each back to back just to work a little bit more, get a really good pump. That's what I'm working on. Not really strength here, just getting a good end of workout pump. Even though I was pretty toast after this workout, I wanted to try some dips to see what I had left in the tank. And I did not get very many, but still pushing myself to the next limit, trying to get any type of dip out is a success for me. <laughs> I was so dead, look at that. Something else that I've been working on is grip strength and my core. So dead hangs are a great way to help with that. Also these little scapula pulls help with pull ups. When I warm up and cool down, I like to just practice other skills and just have fun and not follow such a regimented workout. I feel like my lifts are very structured, but I like to still have some playtime so that I feel happy I'm moving my body. This is just really exciting and fun for me to do. I ended up telling Darian to grab the medicine ball and I was like, dude, chuck this at my abs while I'm in a dead hang. Like, let's see how this goes. So here I am. He tapped it so lightly and I was like, harder, harder. He still threw it too light. I feel like I didn't get the full effect and it wasn't hard or anything. So I wanted to have him take a turn and you know what? I give it a good wind up and I throw that thing as hard as I can. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this is so fun. But this is what I'm talking about. Have some fun, let loose a little bit in the gym. Starting off this gluten ham day, AKA hams and yams baby starting off with the warm-up of course i finally decided hey i'm gonna film this you guys need to know i still want to make a dedicated video but giving you a little insight into what i do for a warm-up on my leg days i like to start on the stairmaster versus an incline walk which i like to do on upper body days it just helps get my legs a little bit more activated not saying i don't ever warm up on the incline walk but i typically like to choose the stairmaster for these days i then move into dynamic exercises 
So I've got some scoops, some ladles. I really don't know what I call this, but I call them scoops and ladles or scoops. I don't know. Got some butt kicks helping work out the quads. The first one was for hamstrings, just bringing movement to the exercises. That's why it's called dynamic exercises or dynamic stretching because you're bringing movement to your muscles, prepping your body and your muscles for your workout. And then moving into hip openers. I love doing these. Your hips need to be nice and open for your squats, for your deadlift and I do them internally as well. I also like to bring in some walking lunges. I love to do lateral lunges too. That really helps open up my groin and get things toasty. The last thing I want is to get injured because that just is such a big setback. I feel like all of us should be intentional about injury prevention and you can help work on some mobility skills before your lifts. So that is really crucial. Take the time to warm up. I am always an advocate for this and I will never stop reminding you to never skip a warm-up. This is another great exercise. It is a deep squat to a hamstring stretch. Another fan favorite for a leg day. Leg swings are another really great exercise. I see a lot of people do this before their leg days, which is fantastic because this is a great one to incorporate and it's something you can even do at your squat rack. It really helps promote blood flow. Now I typically do this after my workout, but if I am extremely sore in which I was from my previous quad day, I need to foam roll before my workout. I want to be as warmed up, as nimble, as agile, as ready to go as possible so I can be extremely productive in my lifts. I can make sure I'm having good form. I'm not afraid of injury and I'm getting myself ready in my body. I'm treating it with kindness and respect for all of the hard work that it puts me through. So if I needed to do some foam rolling before to just loosen up a couple areas, I will do that. But I also really like to foam roll after my leg days. It does help Help decrease soreness so throw that into your routine and of course we never get better if we don't practice but here are some awful handstand attempts another favorite and staple exercise that I like to do on my leg days are these I like to tie a band to something and do some banded stretches around my knee this is just an extra step an extra prevention to really make sure that my knees are ready got this from a physical therapist so hopefully you guys can add these in too if you have a little bit of trouble with your knees i started this workout with deadlifts i did three sets of 10. i started with 135 and i actually got these so easily i increased my weight and then hit three sets of 10 with 155. it's been a while since i've done 10 reps really honing in, making sure my form is perfect because a lot of times I'll do like one set of 10 and then I'll increase weight and do eight and then I'll increase weight and do six or I'll jump right to six reps. So I really wanted to stay at 10, have some good endurance, work on my grip strength and really focus on improving my deadlift and strength. And I'm also holding the bar after my set of 10 to help improve grip strength so I can lift heavier. Here's me at 155, this was my last rep. Shaking my wrists out, let's go. The second exercise is hip thrusts. I ended up doing four sets, eight to 10. And that eight to 10 rep range just means that I ended up increasing my weight and dropping down to eight reps for the last set. When it comes to hip thrust, you wanna keep your knees at 90, keep your chin tucked, and squeeze with your glutes at the top. And if I'm being completely honest, hip thrusts aren't my least favorite exercise. I honestly really hate doing these. So anytime I get them done, it's like checked off my list and I'm so happy to move on. <laughs> Next are single leg deadlifts. I ended up doing these on the Smith machine just because it helps me balance a little bit easier and makes these easier. And I can have a good mind to muscle connection with my glutes and hamstrings. So I did four sets of 10 each leg. If you don't have a Smith machine, you can do this with a dumbbell and hold on to the bench, or you can even do a staggered leg deadlift. I then moved into back extensions. I did four sets of 10 with this too. I have a weight and then each time I am just squeezing my glutes, trying to have the best mind to muscle connection and breathing through the pain. The last two exercises are a super set. I wanted to do a little bit lighter weight, get a good burn, get a really good pump. So I decided to do curtsy lunges into sumo squats. 
So I do 10 curtsy lunges and then I go right into sumo squats with the kettlebell. I will rest a little bit and then repeat those two back to back for the total of three rounds. When it comes to the sumo squats, I did five sumo squats into five pulsing sumo squats. I apparently did not even try to count because I think I did like seven or eight reps of normal and then I did six pulsing sumo squats. So you know what? I think I just went until I was fatigued on these. So if you want to do that, go for it. Last but not least, I filmed a little bit of my cool down. I really like to stretch out, especially my glutes, my hips, because they just put me through a workout. I am grateful for my body, for everything it put me through today, and treating with kindness, respect, properly cooling down, taking the time to stretch. This is where you can work on mobility, flexibility, and those are really gonna help improve your workouts for eternity. What's up, you guys? I just got back from the gym. I am now eating my post-workout meal. I have had this every day after the gym. It's just eggs, sweet potatoes, spinach, and then salsa. And then these are the siete, um, what the frick is this called? Tortilla. And I'm probably gonna have a protein shake too because my body and muscles are completely fried from today's workout. I am just absolutely dead from today. And my lats are sore from this week. Ooh. I am super sore. Tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna spend a lot of time rolling out and a lot of like functional. I actually haven't hit shoulders this week yet. So I'm definitely gonna hit shoulders and then do functional stuff, stretching, mobility work. So I'm gonna finish eating this. I'm gonna drink more water and I will see you guys tomorrow at the gym. DT, that's me. DT, that's me. DT, that's me. You wear a hat, they call dad Me, I'm the dad in a hat You just like clubbing in clothes Me, I like afternoon naps Three, I be missed for the road My oldest like counting racks My middle one, she's in a dirt bike My youngest is just like a mama The mama loves me and I love her So if she wants something, it's never a bother Three to the ladies, my babies And one on the way, now I'm stressing my mama And don't try to play around, don't try to play with them Unless you're looking for problems So don't try to play around, don't try to play with them My brother's out with the drama Four to five nights on the road, count the days till I'm home. I could do show after show, but nothing is better than home. Driving through nights, I'm alone. Count the days till I'm home. I've been on road, I'm on go, but nothing is better than home. Clicking my heels like I'm Dorothy. I need new hobbies, it's boring me. Play all my kids and it's water me. I see new loafers, I'm ordering. I just want socks and stocks. I feel on top to top. Shipping a pop, they pop. So young in my 20s, I celebrate. This one for the dads, let me dedicate. Head to the house like the head of state. Bring home the cash and the dinner place. I go, I zoom, accelerate. I cannot be bought, it's no bargain rate. I got on my bank and my body weight. I stay in the crib like a quarantine. I stay in the crib and I isolate. Making my way, watching demonstrate. I ain't no special, my title wave. I came to win, I ain't gonna play. At my own pace and I'm never late. See the strap thing, it's the new to me. My only dude is. Oh yeah, finished with sprints and rolling into the foam rolling. Honestly, I don't know what it is about sprints, but I love them. I think something's wrong with me though, because most people hate sprints. I love it. Something about sprinting loosens up the rest of my body. Like I just feel so free. I feel amazing. I don't know if it's like the endorphin high from it, but I love to sprint. So I am so glad that I got to do that today. I'm feeling a lot looser after that. And of course I'm foam rolling, like I said, I really want to take care of my body. And this is one way to show appreciation for all of the hard work it has been giving me and everything that it does for me, seriously. So the least I could do is foam roll, give myself a little massage. In my opinion and for my goals, what I am trying to reach, it is important for me to have a good mix of aerobic and anaerobic exercises. So aerobic, you know, that's your swimming, dancing, running, anaerobics, a lot more resistance training type stuff. I like to have a mix of both. So even though it's a little bit hard for me to want to always do this afterward, I feel so great. I feel so much better and I really enjoy having a good mix in the routine. Post sprint ab check, <laughs> okay. Here's some horrible handstand practice, let's get it. All right, you guys, you already know the drill. Look, I missed my shoulder day. I really just wanted to focus on chest and triceps earlier. So I'm hitting shoulders, I'm getting it done now. Got some lateral raises, no movement, control. Let's go, all right? I think I did three sets of 10 
I might have done four sets. I really don't remember. I'm sorry about that. And then I got some front raises. Okay, this is a fire super set. We're working front delts, mid delt. Okay, got all the delts. Here we are. Saucy, droppy. Mm-hmm. After my sprints, I really just wanted to do some movements that felt really good. Haven't hit shoulders yet, so here I am doing that. I also love to hit rear delts. It feels so good when you're doing a shoulder day to get a little bit of that balance, start hitting the back a little bit more. It feels fantastic. I'm a huge fan. So here I am, saucing up with some rear delts. Oh my gosh, my back gains? Are we kidding me? Let's go. Let's go. Can we tell that it's the end of the video because I've been doing a voice recording for 30 minutes now and your girls are getting a little bit tired? We've got some ISO hold bicep curls. Another phenomenal move, all right? You're holding, it's stable with one arm, the other arm's pumping, getting in that blood flow, biceps, saucy, let's get him up. And then guess what? The arm that's been holding a static is now doing the curls. This is such a difficult move because your bicep is already fatigued from just holding that position. This is unreal. Pick a little bit lighter of a weight and get to it. You know, I just missed traveling, so I wanted to go around the world with this shoulder exercise. All right, hitting some around the world. Did three sets of 10. Great movement, great exercise. Helps with mobility too. You know, drop your weight. You don't need to do an ego lift on these. Feel the burn. Hit good form. And enjoy this exercise, which is also extremely hard. Look, I know I cheated myself in abs this week. I absolutely hate training them, but... I want to be well-rounded, and you know what? If I'm working chest, like, I, I can work abs, you know what I mean? So, here we go. Working abs, bozu ball tucks are one of my all-time favorite exercises. This is my go-to. If I don't want to train abs, I love doing this because it is such an intense core exercise where I can always feel the burn. A lot of times, it takes me extremely high rep to feel the burn when doing abs. This is always a challenge. I absolutely love it. You're working your shoulders, too, with the plank fantastic exercise highly recommend i then drop it down low into a plank holding planks have gotten so much easier i was thinking while doing this i'm like wow this is actually really easy where rewind a year ago okay recovering from postpartum i could not even hold this for 15 seconds so i'm actually really proud of myself for how far i've come how easy planks are again for me where before i got pregnant these were easy i could hold them all day a couple minutes and it was totally fine so i'm actually really stoked to be back at this place where i'm finally getting my core strength built back up i ended up throwing in some spiders because i'm not gonna lie what was going through my brain is i'm really bored i hate holding a plank why am i doing this <laughs> so i added some movement to make it a little bit more fun and a little bit more challenging and apparently that wasn't enough because then i start doing commandos i'm just I don't know. I'm a machine. I must have taken some type of pre-workout this day because I was just on it. I guess, you know, feeling good. There we go. Another one of my all-time favorite ab exercises are bicycles. I love this exercise. It's one of the few where, you know, when I'm not feeling abs, I will throw on bicycles and it gets the job done. All right, you guys, so that's going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you did by giving the big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down if you're going to try any of these workouts or what your favorite outfit was for this week. With that being said, see you guys in the next video. Bye.